I keep dreaming of killing my father-in-law. Tell me about the dreams. I drown him in the pool. Ah. What happens next? I live happily ever after. What do you think that means? I think it means exactly that. I mean, is it motivated by jealousy, power? I, I'm having some money, money troubles at the moment. My mother's looking after my grandmother and I, I, don't, I guess I'm just worried that if she dies then all of her money's going to go to my father-in-law and my grandmother. Does she have a will? I guess so. I mean, it's a requirement, right? No. Well, what happens if she dies? Do, do I still get all the money? Not necessarily. It depends if she dies interstate. Well, we are going to Queensland next week. No, no, no. That's interstate. This is intestate. Intestacy is the rules which govern allocation of people's property if they die without a valid will. Congratulations! If you're currently sitting at a psychologist's office or you're likely contemplating murder and wanting to know more about the wonderful world of intestacy, now, judging by your homicidal behavior, I'm going to go right ahead and assume that you have a father-in-law. The bad news? You're not considered legal issue for your father. Not even the wonderful world of intestacy can provide for you. What about mother, you say? If she survives and there aren't any other children in the equation, don't you worry. She'll get the full amount of the estate. But in the event of both your father-in-law and your mother's death, well, your greedy relatives will inherit in this order. Parents, siblings, grandparents, uncles and aunts and next of kin. And even if you murder all these people, the estate will still pass to the crown. So cheer up, old chap. Stop your complaining and start making something of yourself. seem to know an awful lot about this. Yes, we'd be surprised how many patients have issues with their legacy or other people's wills. Helps to know something about it. Right. Thank you very much for your time. And most unhelpful.